With politicians all across the state caught up in a federal corruption probe, the Illinois legislature is determined to prove it is a new day in Springfield. But an ethics package meant to clean up the state house has hit a snag, facing new criticism from one-time supporters. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here with more on the path forward for reform. Taman. Mike and Ray, good evening. Tomorrow, a do-over in Springfield. Democratic leaders say they will try again to approve ethics legislation that people on both sides of the aisle call watered down. The Illinois House is back in Springfield to consider urgent energy legislation. But what about ethics reform? We will be voting on that AB tomorrow. Uh, we'll have all of our members there, and I'm sure it will be approved. Last week, the House rejected Governor Pritzker's amendatory veto of an ethics bill that passed in May, throwing its fate into question. Majority Leader Greg Harris says although Democrats can pass it with their supermajority, he hopes Republicans sign on too. This is a first step. There are other steps we got to take, and this will be an ongoing effort. Senate Bill 539 came in the wake of scandals involving the lobbying activities of ComEd. Governor Pritzker used his amendatory veto power, sending the bill back to lawmakers for a technical change. The legislation changes the role of the legislative inspector general, giving that person authority to launch investigations, but only after a formal complaint is filed. The bill restricts investigations to matters concerning government service or employment. Also, the measure would require additional disclosures on personal financial forms, and it mandates lawmakers wait six months before becoming lobbyists if they leave in the middle of a term. But a former member can lobby a new General Assembly immediately after his or her term expires. Today, Republicans who joined with Democrats voting in favor of the legislation in May before voting against it last week unloaded. Most concerning to me and to our caucus is the lack of independence of the legislative inspector general. If we are ever going to get true and meaningful uh, anti-corruption reforms in Illinois and true accountability for politicians, we need an independent legislative inspector general. I, I think the greatest crisis that we face on all levels of government currently is the fact that the people don't trust us anymore. Even the Springfield watchdog slammed the ethics reform. This summer, Carol Pope resigned, saying in a letter to lawmakers, true ethics reform is not a priority and that her position has no real power. It's essentially a paper tiger. Good government groups slammed Senate Bill 539. They didn't buy lawmakers talking point that baby steps is better than doing nothing at all. Mike Henry. Right, Tamon, thank you.